Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in episode we are making quiche with kale, mushroom and feta cheese. Let's do it. And for the ingredients for this simple quiche we need kale. Any kale will work. Mushroom, I'm using portobello mushroom, milk and cream. And I like combination both. You can also use half and half and it will be the same result. Eggs, must, <laughs> it's the base. Onion. And I like to use feta cheese made from sheep milk. It's my favorite feta, but honestly, any, any feta you have in your fridge, um, you, you can use it. And a little bit of Parmesan, just for umami flavor. I like, it gives more, more taste. <laughs> I think Parmesan makes everything better, right? And as every um, greens I mentioned orally, I like to add a little bit spice nutmeg. Tiny bit, not a lot. You won't taste, but nutmeg likes any greens. And um, also any custard-based dishes, actually very good with nutmeg or maize. Either one of those spices will go well. Salt, pepper, olive oil, and that's about it. But what is um, interesting about this uh, quiche, we are not going to use pre-made pie. Nothing I'm using in my kitchen pre-made from a grocery. I'm making everything from scratch, includes a pie crust and quiche crust, they are very similar. And I will show you how to do simple, easy, um, in few minutes <laughs> in food processor, the, the crust. So let's do it. And for the quiche crust, we need simple ingredients, flour, all purpose, cold butter, cube, ice water, pinch of salt, and a little bit of vinegar, tiny bit, <laughs> any vinegar will work. Let's do it. And food process. Very simple. All we need to do is dump all flour. Butter. And with regular blade, you don't need anything special, dough blade. Pinch of salt. That's about half a spoon or so. I always use an unsalted butter. Always organic, as fed and tiny bit, one quarter teaspoon of vinegar. It helps make crust more flaky. Now, after all butter seems like pea size crumbling and distribute evenly in a flour, it's time to add water, ice water, remember, just like for pie crust, about three, four tablespoons. And all you need to do is just transport everything to the Ziploc bag. It's about, it's crumbling, um, it comes together, and you don't want to overdo. That's perfect consistency. Now press and make like one circle. If it's flat, it will be easy to roll later on. Perfect dough. Now let rest in the fridge at least for 20-30 minutes until everything is set. First of all, we need to saute onion. and about one cup of uh, mushrooms. I already cleaned them with paper towel. Remember, never wash mushrooms because mushrooms like sponge, they will absorb all water and those mushrooms no good except for the soup. Mushroom in and now about kale, one of my favorite ingredients. My husband is not excited about by any meaning. He doesn't like greens much. We need about three to four cups without stains. Of course, I like to remove them. And now just roughly chop. Almost Mother's Day weekend, and I think to have for brunch, or breakfast, or lunch, or even dinner. Quiche, I think it's a perfect, perfect meal with little side salad. I love in summer, it's one of my go lunches. 
almost four cups of greens. The mushrooms almost done, now time for kale. While well, our filling cool down, another thing that we need to do, prepare our custard, which is mean four eggs from my chicken. <laughs> They're beautiful. I have white chicken, brown chicken, and black chicken. Half cup of milk. And one cup of heavy cream. while ago I posted frittata recipe and frittata it's more firm eggs which is nice but I like quiche it's more delicate more elegant I think um, your mom would like for Mother's Day and what I like to shred some Parmesan cheese about half cup so. and whisk all together so now let's back to cross I think it's ready and roll in between two plastics. And now simply transform. Now roll, I'm kind of like five pinch. And now add our cool filling. And more and fatter, evenly distributed. And now for our custard. And now this is ready for the oven. For the first 15 minutes, since the crust is not pre-baked, we'll bake on very low rack for 15 minutes, 425 degrees, and then we'll go on low and slow from 300. No. Oh, it smells so good. Onion, mushrooms, and cheese. It's just great combination, and I think should suit everybody taste. Tastes delicious. So what you want when it's um, slightly jiggling on middle, but set all the way around. You don't want to overbake. Sometimes it takes 25 minutes or 30 minutes. Depends on your oven. You have to watch close, and you don't want overbake. And how I like to serve, I like to serve with a little bit side of salad. The best way to wait at least 20 minutes to cool down before you cut the slice, but I can't wait. <laughs> a lot. I love mushroom kill. Such a great combination. Mm. This little peppery arugula outside and this creamy rich custard is delicious. It's so good. I hope you give it a try this recipe soon and give me a like and subscribe if you haven't. 
we'll choose and what we're going to make next time for my wish recipe jar. Let's see. Classic kimchi. Please share with your friends, family, make for your mother's day, for your wife or mother. And remember, always uh, my recipe is description below and similar recipe if you may find helpful. And I hope to see you soon. Bye, see you next time.